All right, hey friends, what's shaking? What's happening? What's going on? Well, this is Andy, and today I'm going to play a little bit with the pick and show you uh, how I go about doing it, how I've always gone about doing it. Um, I started playing with the pick in uh, 1982, which is right when I first started playing bass. I was into like Priest and Ian Hill and a lot of the a lot of the bass players that uh, that I was into when, when I first started playing played with a pick and uh you know playing metal and and, and hard rock and, and things like that it really just uh cut through the mix of uh distorted guitars and everything so that's kind of what got me into it and then as as my style evolved i just um kind of made it to where i could play all all this all the kind of funky stuff and all the ghost noting stuff that I was doing with my fingers I just adapted it over to the pick over the years stuff where I well, like where I start on the five and end on the flat five Thank you. 
So that's pretty much uh, in a nutshell what I do. Double back with triplets a lot. So it's like a ghosted triplet feel. You know, I was into Steve Harris a lot, so you know, he's going. <laughs> he's doing all that kind of stuff, so galloping. So I tried to learn how to gallop with the bass. somebody plays with their fingers I tried to learn how to play it with a pick and make it still feel good you know and then the other thing you can do is like or flurries, you know. to any style really you know
and play with a pick to you know i like to i like flat wound strings and uh for me uh playing with a pick and with the flat wound strings is is the sound that uh really i think is a, a very wholesome and uh uh just it just it just it's like uh, universally universally uh, appropriate in terms of the way that it blends into the fabric of music but it, it's you got to be i have to be very responsible for my picking because every single thing that i play really really is exposed in in the music and, and through the fabric of the music so um when you play with a pick, it's a little bit harder than um, it gets credit for. A lot of people kind of scoff at, at, at pick playing, uh, and they just don't understand that it's actually, it's, it's a very technical way of um, making everything count and everything matter, because when you play with your fingers, it's a wonderful tone too, obviously. But there's a lot of uh, room for... Uh, for things to kind of get uh, sort of muddled together and just, it's a, it's, a, it's a more forgiving technique where the pick, everything comes through. Whether it be a, a picked pitch or some sort of um, rhythmic, um, you know, strumming, like clicking thing. I do a lot of like uh, variables of muting with the with the palm back here and with the left hand fingers I don't I try to uh, not let my fingers be away from the of the fingerboard ever I try and lay them across the fingerboard always so it's like and I'm actually touching the frets with this part of my fingers and this part of my fingers and this part of my fingers and the tips of my fingers and sometimes even down here I mean, look where the tips of my fingers are. tips of my fingers. I'm more like... So it's a, it's, it's a sloppier style, but it's a more groovy style. And it has more character and personality, I think, than just being super articulate and up on the tips of t uh, up on the tips of my fingers. And you know, I do other things that are, are very what uh, would be considered not not proper technique. You know, like sometimes my thumb is on the back of the neck, you know, and I'm I'm, I'm coming down like this. But a lot of times, I'm I'm reaching over, kind of gripping it, like you know, like that. Have some fun. Play with a pick.